Well, good evening, Facebook fans and everybody here on the HY Virtual Shows. I'm Pam Minnick, and I'm joined by the two brains behind what we've been having so much fun with for the last oh, three or four months before when COVID was going on. And now that we're free to go to shows, we can still do this virtually. So Sherry and Heather, take it away. Hey, hey, sure. go ahead, Heather. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Pam. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Excited. Me too. So here we are. We're at show number two of our Buckle series. We have one more show left. So that's really exciting. And we had, we, we missed a few people this time because of various reasons. Um, you know, people going back to school and school teachers and different things. So um, we did miss a few of our usuals, but we had a good turnout all in all. And we had a lot of money added. And I think you guys are going to be super excited to see uh, what kind of payouts we have. They should be because it's very exciting. The money was good and just, just the fun. I got to sit and watch as a spectator this time and such good injuries. Well, so, we should start by saying, how's your horse? He's, he's much better. I got to ride him Wednesday. And so he's been riding really good. Uh, he just had those big old injections in his, in his hip and, and Wrangler is, he's, he's ready to go. He's coming back for y'all. Well, because <laughs> I, I know that everybody out there is not only curious of how the placings were, but they're curious to know who, well, it was probably a shoe in for most creative, but oh wow, the bar has been set pretty high for you, oh, Sherry. It has, and 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 <laughs> I'm working. The wheels are turning. Yeah, <laughs> the wheels are turning. There will be whiskey involved, and and uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a few guns. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get started. So uh, we'll start with our green open results and move forward. So in the Green Open Ranch Riding, first place went to Ellen Hollyfield, and she won thirty dollars. Yeah. yeah. And in our Green Open Ranch Rail, Ellen also won that, and she won fifteen dollars. So hey. way to go, Ellen! We're really Absolutely. glad to have you. And moving into our amateur, Sherry's going to to tell us the results of the Amateur Ranch Rail and then the Amateur Ranch Riding. Well, I'm excited about this. I didn't get to go in this, so um, I'm, just, I'm just excited to be able to tell all the winners. So for the Amateur Ranch Rail, for the Buckle Series, first place went to Pam Minnick. Whoop, whoop. Yay! And yeah, Woo! one of the fat $85. There was a Thank total of yeah. There was a total of two hundred and fifteen dollars entered. Uh, One hundred and sixty-five of that was from the pot, and then there was an, an anonymous fifty dollars added to that as well. So, right. so Pam, congratulations. Second place went to Amanda Sanchez. She won Yay, five dollars. Yes. Third place was to Teresa. Doubt it. I think that's right. And she won forty-five dollars. And Fourth place was to Caitlin Harrison with $20. So congratulations to y'all in the Amateur Ranch Rail. Way to go. Yeah. So in the Amateur Ranch Riding. Um, let's see. First place goes to Teresa. Doubt it. She won $90. And Billy Bob's tickets. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to go to Billy Bob's. I'm so excited about that one. We're back open. Yay. I know. Oh, that's Bob. exactly right. Uh, if you if, if you haven't been to Billy Bob's, it's a definite must see. Not only the history there, but it's a lot of fun, and, and the service is outstanding, and the food is outstanding. And and I have to tell you, I'm so spoiled. And and I say this all the time, but I have I've gone to Billy Bob's and I and I've sat up in the seats up by the 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 um, stage and seen some of my favorite singers there. And it's just so up close and personal in a more intimate situation whenever you're sitting up close to the stage there, as opposed to going to a large venue where you're who knows where and very far away from the stage. So if you haven't been, it's a must go. And, and Pam, thank you for um, offering some more tickets. We appreciate that. And we will be giving those away tonight. Okay. Well, and there's so many good shows. 
not just concerts, but there's some horse shows coming to Fort Worth because Fort Worth, you know, Will Rogers got great horse shows there. So, you know, after you put your horse away, our concerts start after 10 o'clock. So you've got plenty of time, take a little nap and then go to the show. That's right. And you don't want to miss it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I've been there several times and, and with some great people and it is, it is an exciting thing to go to. So congratulations, Teresa, for your, your uh, Billy Bob's tickets. Okay, so second place in the amateur ranch riding is going to go to Amanda Sanchez. She won $70 and an awesome Storm Cloud shirt. And that's going to look so good on Amanda. I know she had some in mind the other day when, when uh, Nancy had posted some more pictures. So that's exciting. Third place. This goes out to a long way away. But it's third place is Rob Houghton. He won $45. He's from the place. All the Where's way it? the Netherlands. Yeah, I knew it was somewhere far away. I thought it was the Netherlands. And he's, he's another repeat um, entry too so thank you Rob for entering and congratulations on your $45 and in fourth place well of course it goes to Miss Pam Minnick and she's got $25 coming to her she can buy us a drink at Billy Bob's yes I will (laughs) (laughs) so Sherry what was the pot in the total purse in that uh, in the ranch riding it was it was a hundred it was a total of $230 and uh, so the pot was 180. It was an added $50 from an anonymous um, donor. And, uh, and then so the total was $230. So this was pretty good for, that's a pretty good payout for the amount of entries that we had. So that's and I it. Loved that's watching the, I loved watching the videos and it's so much fun for me to um, compare my runs to the, especially when, when there's runs that are, score so much better than, than we did. And, um, and so I love to see, uh, so it gives me something to shoot for. And I see my mistakes. Boy, video on your runs really makes you look at your mistakes. You bet it does. A couple of times I've told Heather, I was like, I sent you this video. I thought I was going so much faster, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> also, in the amateur ranch riding, uh, congratulations to Pam Beckman. You have won your entry fee back. Uh, Sherry Neighbors of Flying BS Quarter Horses has donated that. So you will win back your $25. Yay! <laughs> See, it pays to enter. It just pays to enter. So, so those, that's exciting. And, and you're like, um, I'm back to what, what Pam was just saying, watching the videos. And, and they've gotten so much better. We have repeat entries. And from the very beginning, when we first started with our very first one, there's still people entering. And... I mean, it's just, it's, it's awesome to watch how everybody is building their confidence and how everybody is just getting better. So, well, Sherry had me do that the other day when I sent my video, she said, do me a favor, look back to the video that you sent in April. And even though I had success and my horse is always awesome, usually the passengers, not so awesome. And, um, and there, there is a big improvement just by, the continuity and striving to get better each time. And so the, I, I, I brag about this to everybody. I am so proud that you girls came up with this idea. Well, thank you. We're, we're very excited about it. I, you know, we just wanted to help everybody and, and we wanted to help ourselves too. I, I needed the help too. So I, I, I'm just glad we're still doing it. We just need interest. And I appreciate you girls helping me out with it. I, it's hard to do this by myself. So I, in fact, I don't think I could do it by myself. So I greatly appreciate both of you with all your help. And, and there's some other people that have helped along the way too. So uh, again, it, you know, it's like anything, it takes a village and, and you, one person cannot do it alone. So absolutely. Sherry, uh, can you go ahead and tell us about the AM Green Ranch riding results and the pot and total and all that stuff? I don't think I have that one printed out. I got it. Okay. okay. So here we go. <laughs> Thank the you, Pam. Pot, the pot was $120. An additional 50 was added by an anonymous donor. So $170 in the pot. This is the Amateur Green Ranch riding. First is Libby Blackstead. She won $70 and Billy Bob's tickets. Um, second was Melanie Bushlow. She won $50 and a storm cloud certificate. Uh, Third was Jeannie Webb and she won $35. And fourth was Emily Hearn. She won $20. So the uh, congratulations to, to those. And that was a, that was a pretty big class, amateur green ranch riding. 
Whew, good. I, also, I like seeing those green ones. I also want to congratulate Sheila Bedwell. Again, Flying BS Quarter Horses, Sherry Neighbors. She is going to pay your entry fee back. So you won your entry fee back, Sheila. Way to go. And again, like we said, this is a great way to learn and, and watch and see how you have progressed over time. So congratulations, everyone. Yay. Hey, would you like to do the Amateur Green Ranch Rail, Pam? Yeah, the Amateur Green Ranch Rail. Now, that was a class with a little lighter entries. And I'm always... Um, uh, a little surprised when there's few in, fewer entries in this because I don't think people realize how easy this class is. It is just walk, trot, extended trot, lope, extended lope, stop and back up. Uh, 20 seconds in each direction. So I encourage you, any horse can do it, any person can do it. Um, so the ranch rail and especially the amateur green ranch rail is a class that that I encourage you to tell your friends about the pot was $45 and the entire pot went to Melanie Bushlow. Uh, she was in first place. Jenny Williams is worth mentioning in second and Sheila Bidwell in third place. But enter this amateur green ranch rail class because it's it's one to it's one to enter. Absolutely. Yeah, it's good. And, and it's so it's very easy and basically what they're judging is on the quality of your horse's movement and way of going. And that's, that's it. I mean, it's easy. You don't have to do a pattern. If you have a green horse that's, you know, not, maybe not ready for a pattern, this is the perfect opportunity to get out and get your horse shown and well, get some experience for yourself. I'll give you an example. I entered the last buckle series show on a horse I had never shown before. And of course the rules say if they're more than 72 points, they move out of that category and he moved out and he had never been shown. So if I can do it, you can do it. It's just exciting. It's just such great privileges to, to I, I don't want to understand why we don't have more entries because it's just so good. And you don't have to hook up and go anywhere. No, no, right outside in your pasture. <laughs> and that's right. And that's a great, great thing to bring up, Sherry. Maybe your arena is too muddy, or maybe you don't have an arena, so you think you can't participate. That's absolutely the furthest thing from the truth, because if you look back at, at our videos, uh, Teresa, who won the ranch riding, I believe, she rode her pattern out in the pasture. We mm -hmm. welcome that. This is a ranch show. It's ranch class. Absolutely, we welcome riding out in the pasture. So it's okay if you don't have an arena. Yeah, and it's fun to watch those in the pasture. All right, well, let's move on to the open, uh, our open ranch riding. Our pot had $90 and we added 50 from that anonymous donor. So a total of $140. And first place went to number nine, Jennifer Ray. You won $70 and a storm Ooh. gift certificate. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and second place went to Carmen Nordman and you won $40. Third place was Katrine Beeger, and she's another return entry. She's been with us since the beginning, and we greatly appreciate that and love watching her. Katrine, you won thirty dollars. Yay, so Katrine! Yay! <laughs> All right, and so in the open ranch rail again, like Pam was saying, the entries were much lighter, and I think maybe people don't. I think you're right. Maybe people don't understand how easy it really is, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I encourage everybody to enter the rail class. It's super easy and, um, you know, there's money to be won and prizes to be won. So in the open ranch rail, the pot was $30 and first place went to Katrine Baker. Woo! She, she won $30 and those awesome Billy Bob tickets. Way to go, Katrine. Second place, second place was Ellen Hollyfield. Congratulations to both of you. So I think the, um, the most popular division we had this time, uh, the, the most highly anticipated division, I believe would be tardy to the party. Uh, there was quite a bit of money added to it. Thank you, Sherry Neighbors, Fly Me yes, Support so Horses. So Sherry yes. added $150 to tardy to the party. And what this is, is it was anyone who has not ever shown with us was and is an amateur or a youth 
was eligible to show in this division. So it's a ranch riding class, same pattern. Just the restriction is, is that you're an amateur youth and you've never shown with us. And there was $150 added. The pot had $165, making it a total of $315. Guys, this is a $25 entry fee. It's so <laughs> affordable. Like Pam has said in the past, you don't have to hook up, load up, put diesel in your truck. You don't have to go anywhere. You can do it right there at your house. For $25, the pot is $315. So great crazy stuff. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So let's get to the winner. And the winner of Tardy to the Party was number 34, Diane Weaver. You won $125. So Yay, Diane. Diane. Good for you. You grossed $100, Diane. And that's awesome. <laughs> for a virtual that show. For a virtual show. Absolutely. Yeah. In second place went to Katrina. And Katrina, I'm going to butcher your last name. You're number 15. Uh, Geese Brett. Sounds you won good. You won $95. So way to go. That's Crazy. awesome. Yeah. Third place went to Carol Kurtz. Number eight. You won $60. Fourth place went to number five. Corey Westaby, and you won $30. So that's awesome. There was a lot of money to be paid out there, and I think it was a lot of fun for everybody as well. So Sherry, thank you so much for the Oh, advice. absolutely. I just want to get people to enter. So I'm excited, and thank y'all for entering. Pam, can you do the youth classes? Yes, I can. I uh, will start with the youth ranch riding. First place went to Grant Slough, I think you pronounce it, Slough or Slow, S-L-O-U-G-H. He won $40, and uh, or is that a $40 gift card? A $40 gift card. Gotcha. And second place is Shelby Copeland, a $20 gift card. That's, in, that's in the youth ranch riding, and so I applaud those kids that can memorize that pattern, because that pattern was a little tough this time, you know, so... Um, then in the Youth Ranch Rail, Savannah Lee, $50 Storm Cloud gift certificate. So that is awesome. And second in the Ranch Rail, again, Grant Slew. So he won $25 gift certificate there. So he, he cleaned up in those, uh, in those two classes. But congratulations to our youth. And I always love watching their videos. Yeah, that's I excellent. I love it whenever we have youth participate. They are definitely our teachers. So we, we do encourage them to keep participating. So, um, you know, we always have, we have always done a drawing and given something away in a drawing. And once again, we will be doing that tonight. I'm about to draw. Uh, what we're going to give away is I'm donating yet another, I donated last time, the Back on Track Oh. no bow wraps and so these are therapeutic wraps and um, they're really good to use on your horse and, and um, therapeutic so that will be our drawing that I have donated myself and let me get my list of people my name so whenever I draw I know whose number it is the number with the name hey while you're doing that I, I am going to uh Talk about that darn creative pattern. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kelly King, you kicked it. You will. Of course, you were winning. I think you would have won it no matter what. Uh, that was a pretty awesome deal. Um, great job. Great creative pattern. It was, it was, I don't know. It was really good. I've got my, my work cut out for me. So while Heather's doing that, congratulations, Kelly King, on that. Um, I'm going to donate some stuff next for the next uh, show. I can't do the 150 again as far as the, create, the money, but I've got some really cool stuff here, and it's called the Corral Caddy. I don't know if y'all can, can y'all see it? Oh, um, yeah. Can see it, Pam? Right. I can see it. What is it? It's, it's a Corral Caddy. It hangs on your, your fence in your arena. They'll come in, in any colors. You can get whatever color that you want. I don't know why I can't get it to, are y'all, is, can you see it now? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. All right. So you can Looks put like your it. whiskey bottle in it. Yeah. You can put your drinks in it. You can put your sunglasses on it. 
Um, you can put your bridles if you were one of the, the winners of the, the Calvin Waters um, head stalls. There was about six of you or five of you, I think. So you, you can hang your bridle on that and your reins. That is crazy great. That is and awesome. You can, you can put your phone on it. And then, you know, if, if you're ever in a situation where you have to uh, change clothes in your arena, you can hang your storm cloud shirts on it. That is so, such a awesome. great idea. Yeah, I, well, I saw these many years ago, and so I wanted one really bad because I, when I was roping, I thought, man, that's the perfect thing for ropers. We get yeah. to hang, put our beer in there and, and uh, <laughs> well, just pretty much beer in there or, or whiskey, but yeah, so that's exciting. So I'll be giving away one of those um, for the next one. We're not sure exactly if it's going to be a drawing or if I'm going to put it in one of the classes, but I'm really excited about that. I got that, that just got them in today, the ones I had ordered for my arena. And I'm uh, very excited about those. So they're a lot of fun. Cool. What? That's yeah. awesome. Thank you, yeah. Sherry. Thank well, you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to draw for the therapeutic back on track. <clears throat> excuse me. Back on track. No bow, belt, uh, no bow leg wraps. So I'm going to reach in here and see who the lucky winner is. All right. Number 10, let's see who that is. Number 10 is the lucky winner. Number 10 is... I do a drum roll. Jeannie Webb, you are the winner of the No Bow Back on Track Leg Wrap. So congratulations. Hey. And thank you for showing with us. We Absolutely. Appreciate it. All right. So that I was think... our first time showing too, wasn't it? It, it is. Yeah, yeah, this is our first time. So that's, that's great. Awesome. So I think that's all the results, except for most creative pattern. And so who won that, Sherry? That would be Kelly King. Kelly King is a big fat winner on the creative pattern. I mean, that was crazy good, wasn't it? it was. Make sure you go back to the website and watch it over and over Please. and over again. Yeah. I know I did. I was just like, yeah. that was just so adorable. And not only did she put some thought in it, I said, I, I would never have anybody to help me move a sofa into the middle of my arena. <laughs> yeah, who, who moves a sofa to their arena? <laughs> Kelly King? Kelly King. Yeah. Congratulations. Good job. So, yeah, Kelly, good job. You, Kelly, you also are the winner of some Billy Bob's tickets. So, yeah. whenever you come Woo. up to one of the daughter's show, maybe during the Cow Horse Fraternity, be a great time to go to Billy Bob's. You and your husband maybe can go. So congratulations and thank you for some great entertainment. It was super cute. And that's what we want with the most creative pattern. We're just, we want people to have fun with it and make this a fun event. And we're Absolutely. always trying to find ways to do that. So way to go, Kelly. That was definitely the epitome of what we were looking for. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, I think that winds up all of our results. All right. Well, I had fun. Let's talk, um, let's talk about the future. We've got one more show in the three show buckle series, correct? We do. And you'll, you'll be posting those patterns soon, um, especially <laughs> once the rain gets out of the way, because it seems like every time you set a deadline, it has rained. So the, I, I should have gotten you, I was going to call the commissioner of agriculture and get you a special award, <laughs> Heather, because every time you set a deadline, we get rain and golly knows here in Texas, we need it. Absolutely. Yeah, I, you know, probably in the next couple of weeks, it'll be coming out, give, give us another week or two, probably two at the max, and it'll come out. Uh, we're going to start running in, we, we really need to get it done by the first part of September. Uh, once we get into the middle of September, then I know it starts paint world. And then we, as we get into, no, <clears throat> excuse me, and once we get into November, we run into quarter horse world. So anyway, we kind of need to get it done the first part of September. So anyway, just be on the lookout for it. Uh, like I said, in the next week or two, it'll be out and the end for all the information. And again, anyone who is new with us, all of the new show information can be found under announcements and that would be any kind of rules that that you may need and the pattern any info on the new show will be under the announcements that way you can find it you don't have to dig deep for it and if you have questions ask ask any of us ask heather ask pam ask any of us uh questions about anything if we don't know the answer we'll ask heather <laughs> 
And if I don't know it, I guess I'll make it up. No, I'm just yeah, there you go. You know, Thank yeah. you, guys. This has been so much fun again. And, and I've told you since the very first show, the reason I enter is so that I can improve. And, um, and along the way, I've made some great friends, but, but doing things, making my horse look good, improving my own self has been, you know, it's, it's just been a, a wonderful journey. And I applaud you again. And that's you, and that's exactly right. And that's the person that you should be out to be is yourself. Every time you go out and ride, every time you ride a new pattern, you need to beat the person that you were yesterday. Every day become better. You don't need to worry about anyone else or what they're doing or how they're doing. You need to focus on yourself and beat the person that you were yesterday. And, and that's, that's how you improve. So um, yeah, congratulations to everybody. And I will be posting the score sheets uh, later on and they will be available for you. So you need to know your BAT number and you just find your class, your BAT number, and that there will be the score sheet. And you can see what you uh, plus or minus or zeroed on or whatever, where you need to improve or where you have improved. So anyway, again, thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. And Pam and Sherry, again, thank you for helping me out with everything. Absolutely. Good night. Thank you, Pam, for joining us because that, that has made it a whole lot easier for me and Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, girls. Good Cheers. night. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Cheers. <laughs>